In local news, hundreds of students marched across Cal Poly today prote protesting what they say is a lack of response from the university to a photo showing a fraternity member who had painted his face black during Polycultural Weekend. It sparked outrage. An investigation by the university, fraternity suspension, member resignations, Greek life probation, and now an explanation from the student at the center of the controversy. Today's protest happened during Cal Poly's open house for freshmen. KSBY News reporter Molly Casey was there to see the two events collide. We never hear anything about slow and it's like, of course, it's on the news. Families of prospective students looked on as protesters marched through campus, demanding the university step up support for minority students. My daughter is mixed, so she looks nothing like me, and that's, I feel really bad saying that I'm glad, you know, because then I don't think I have to worry about her as much. Margaret Clark said seeing the now viral photo was disappointing. It's a cycle, you know, it's the way they were raised, and that's the way they raise their kids. They don't know any better. For some prospective students, the photo was a shock. It might deter my <laughs> decision to come here, honestly, because I do believe in like social and racial justice issues. The student behind the now viral photo says he's also learned from his mistake. In a statement to KSBY News, Kyler Watkins said he painted his face black, no tout of racism or discrimination, but because his fraternity had split up into teams of different colors for a game, and he was on the black team. Growing up white and privileged, I was truly unaware of how insensitive I was to the racial implications of blackface. When I woke up Sunday morning to learn that blackface is of historical racial significance, no words can express my regret and horror. I'm not sorry simply because I was caught. I'm sorry because I have given other students the impression they can indiscriminately be made fun of because of their race or appearance. In my own mind, I was simply going all out in my theme as a member of the black team. My actions stemmed from ignorance, but never hate, discrimination, or the intent to hurt anyone. Molly Casey, KSBY News. And to read Watkins' full statement, you can find this story on KSBY.com.